Hey dudes, how's it going? Today we're going to be fitting these HEL Performance braided brake lines to this MY99 WRX. That's a full set, they're Australian made. It's going to be a good upgrade for the braking system. Now it's going to be a pretty simple job, so let's get into it. Alright, so we'll get the whole car up on stands, we'll get all the wheels off, so we're going to do all the lines at once. Alright, so first of all we're going to do, we're going to clean off all the dirt around where the poses join the pipes on the body and the calipers, so that when we take the old lines off we don't let dust into the system. Right, so we're going to first brush them with a wire brush, and then a nylon brush, and then dust them off with the air blower, so they're nice and clean. So we're going to do that now. Alright, so now it's time to undo the lines. Now before we do that, I'm just going to pop the bonnet and I'm going to show you a little trick that's going to help later on when we have to bleed the master cylinder. Alright, so what we're going to do guys, I'm going to pop the bonnet, I'm going to take the cap off the brake master reservoir, alright, just going to sit that on the bench somewhere nice and clean. Right, we're just going to get some saran wrap. And we're just going to double it over like that. Doesn't matter if it's a bit wrinkly. Like this, right? And we're just going to put it over the reservoir top, like that. We're just going to get a rubber band or an elastic hair tie or whatever, and just go around the neck of it and make it nice and tight, like that. Okay. Now, what that's going to do is when we release the lines at the bottom, it's going to seal on the top here and it's going to create a vacuum on the top so only a certain amount of fluid is going to come out the bottom which means we're not going to empty the reservoir and we're not going to have air in the top of the system it's going to make our life a lot easier later on so now we go to the wheels and we uh, crack all the lines all right so i'm going to put a pan under the floor because we are going to drop a little bit of fluid okay now for this job we just need a decent tube nut spinner Use a good brand one, not one that's going to spread. So once it spreads, it's useless. And once you wreck these tube nuts, you got to cut the end of the line, reflare it, put a new one on. So we don't want to do that. One that fits nice and is in good condition. And we're just going to undo this nut like that, crack it loose. Okay. Now once we've cracked it loose, I'm just going to do it up finger tight, okay, because I want to undo the clips now. So we just pull them out with a set of pliers basically. Like that. Like that. Okay, and the reason I've done that is because I want to give it one final clean before I actually undo it. Okay, I'm also going to just crack the one on the caliper, so for that we need a 14 spanner. And you'll notice I'm doing the front right hand wheel first, that's because it's the closest to the master cylinder. We want to remove it first and bleed it last. And we follow that trend all around the car. 
So we go closest to furthest and then furthest to closest. Just your typical bleed pattern. All right, so now I'm just gonna get the air blower again and just blow all in here before we finally take it off. All right, so now we can take that hose off. So, just that tube nut spanner on here again. Just loosen up now to do it by hand like this, okay? So remember, we're going to see some fluid run out. It's not all going to run out because of the vacuum we're going to create on the top. All right, so it's out of there. Now undo it out of the caliper. Remember, we've got all new banjo bolts and washers, so we want to remove the whole lot and so make sure both washers come with it. And we want to take that banjo bolt and the washer off and then feed the hose through the strut like that so that's the first hose out so in turn we can now put our first hose in Start that in. Alright, so now I get the new banjo. New banjo bolt and two copper washers. I'll we'll put one each side of the hose like that and fit it onto the caliper. Turn the rest of the hose so that it lines up. Remember that inner fitting is a swivel fitting. So we just keep turning the hose until it all fits. Not screwing down the fitting up. Tighten him up. And we'll just make sure that this is spun around in the right position so that the hose is relaxed. Like so. Strut fitting in there. The hose is fitting here. Pretty good to me. And now we'll just get our tube spin up and tighten them up. That. 
before we put the clip on we're just gonna bend it like this on the ends this is just gonna add a bit more tension to it so that it holds it nice and firm that's cool now we can tighten it up that one same thing just tension it up some more like that and Bob's your uncle that's the first hose done into whatever position it needs to now. Just like all the excess fluid off. Now we just go ahead and do all the other Oh, so you can see there how the glad wrap has sucked in like a dome and caused a vacuum in the master cylinder and it's still got fluid in the bottom okay so obviously you know you saw while we were doing it some dripped out but I never had to top it up while I was doing it so what we want to do now is just take that glad wrap cover off top it up with nice fresh fluid and then we'll start to gravity bleed the system. So we'll go around and do all the wheels like that, and then we'll start bleeding.
All right, now we start to pressure bleed the system. All right, and that's it. It's comprehensively bled now. So essentially, job's finished. Just need to make sure all the bleed nipples are locked up nice and tight. That's basically it. So let's check out how they look now. Pretty tidy. They don't stand out like a sore thumb, but you can still tell their performance lines. That's how the back ones look. Cool. All right, let's get it back on its wheels. So there you go, guys. We're all done. All four brake lines are now fitted. The whole system's bled. Now I've taken it for a drive, and she goes sweet as. So for a uh, review of the lines, you can hit up my video over at Nev Reviews, see how I rate them. But other than that, once again, thanks for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And we'll see you next time on Nev's Garage.